This is. This is. Eric and Gord, what if we're right? Live, right now. Are you ready? Find, find and like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. How dare you? Okay, I'll have to do an intro later, but hey, we're working on speaker and that's cool. Hi there. Happy Monday. It's October 12th, 2020. I'm Eric, talking at you from Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. And tonight's episode is brought to you by Subway. Subway. They have two things that are actually food. Where? Um, Next door? Probably. <laughs> at Mr. Sub? <laughs> How's it going, Gordon? I'm doing better, man. How you doing? I'm okay. I don't know if you heard today. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Welcome to the show. Thanks for listening. Hello, India. Um, thanks for telling your friends. Keep up the good work, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, India has taken over as our number one country of listenership. It's number one? It's number one. It surpassed Canada this weekend. Holy shit. Hello, so, India. Wow, that's insane. That's that. Remember, I got us hooked up to that Indian site. Yeah, but still, it's the like holy the crap. podcasting site in India. But yeah, they've taken over as our number one country. Um, I was going to send you the numbers, and then I didn't. So thank you for that, Indian friends. Um, I don't know, Gord, if you caught this in the news or not, but apparently... Now, I haven't substantiated the whole story yet, but apparently uh, Subway can no longer refer to their bread as bread. I heard that. <laughs> uh, something to do with the massive amount of sugar that's in it. That's right. It's like 12 times the amount of sugar that's supposed to be considered bread. So, uh, yeah, one more thing. Like, their chicken can't be called chicken. Their bread can't be called bread. It's like pretty soon they're just going to have to either get some food on the menu or fucking give up. <laughs> <laughs> although That's... i do want to get a job there and then I, i've always wanted to get a job there and then see if i could apply for an artist grant yeah well they <laughs> that's what they call you should be able to get a government arts grant what kind of art do you do i'm a sandwich artist <laughs> oh so you like make art with sandwiches yeah i work a fucking subway i make art with sandwiches <laughs> and pedophiles <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't uh, really make them with the pedophiles. The pedophiles just speak for them, represent the company. <laughs> um, if I can, kids, I want to go back and remaster some old episodes and re-release them in the next couple of months. I've been listening to some really old ones, and there's some damn good stuff in there. <laughs> Man, we got we, some great episodes. We were funny. Yeah, we were. I don't know what happened. I've been going way, way back. Like first year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was just listening to... Um, uh, it was our like basically our one year anniversary. Funny stuff. Uh, I miss That's it. That's awesome. I'm, I I miss the days when the world was funny and and we could make jokes. Yeah, remember those days? God, it seemed like a decade ago. I actually just made a T shirt that said, "I remember when things were funny." <laughs> I can't wait for the per first person to be offended by that. Oh, someone will be. I got. I made another one that's that's really great too. That's oh, I showed you the finger one. I sent you that. Yeah, I like and then, that. <laughs> then I made another one that just said, "Let's make America less great again." <laughs> Actually, I saw a really great one. I wish I could take credit for it, but I couldn't. Um, and it says, "Make America great again," and it's got a bunch of native people standing in a circle, burning a bunch of white people tied to a stake. <laughs> So, I know a lot of people that would like to have that shirt. Make America great again? Without <laughs> that's how it's. Someone's out there doing God's work. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get in touch with soon-to-be Guinness World Record holder, record holders Eric and Gord, you can email us Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina at gmail dot com. Please do. We need your emails. We need some support. We need some uh, reviews on. Apple, if you could do that, or Podchaser, or basically anywhere, just throw us a review, a like, if you will. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the usual suspects. 
uh, it'd be a big help. Yeah. It's great Absolutely. that you guys are listening in huge numbers. I really appreciate it. But uh, get involved a little bit. Tell us what you want to hear. Tell us what you don't like, what you like, whatever. What you wear when you're sleeping. I don't care. Just send us something. <laughs> Tell us what you're wearing now. Tell us what you're wearing now. Guess what I'm wearing now. I bet you can't. <laughs> I can, but I don't want to. <laughs> And uh, anyone who does will get a pen, possibly. That's up to Canada Post, not me. <laughs> uh, Gord's still waiting for his. <laughs> I wonder where the fuck they went. I'm starting to think I sent them to the wrong road. Um, we have a guest coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Gord and I have to figure out when. Uh, sometime next week. Great guest. Um, he has a name. I'm sure I'll remember it any second now. He's a U.S. war veteran well he's not a war veteran he's a military veteran he never made it to war um while on active duty at what's the one in texas fort fort bragg fort bragg i think that might be it mm. um right. or fort hood is that something hood something hood uh, hood's a smaller one yeah um uh, i think he was at hood became very heavily addicted to lsd um, and did a lot of LSD while on active duty and was less than honorably discharged from the U.S. military. And he says cleaned up his life and he, he just talks about that. And uh, he asked if he could be on our show and I said, hell yeah. Um, terrifies me to think that someone with a, access to a bunch of guns Richard Kaufman is his name. Sorry. Access to all the America's military might and just wired on acid. <laughs> that must have been fucking scary. <laughs> uh, so Richard Kaufman will be joining us this week at some point. Uh, when Basically, whenever Gord can work it into his schedule. Uh, we will have him on. And then one I want to start plugging really early on is... Um, Something I'm doing on December 14th. It's a podcast called uh, Something Something The Stories. The Stories We're Not Allowed to Tell or whatever. It's hosted by a woman named Ann Livingston. And it's a podcast all about just contrary opinions. Opinions that aren't popular. Um, things that if you said them in public you'd, you'd get in a lot of trouble. Uh, basically everything I say on this show. <laughs> and she just wants, she's like, do you have an opinion that might be different than everybody else's? I'm like, every opinion. Every single one is that. Uh, so I'll be doing that December 14th. Very um, cool. And that'll be just in time to promote our wicked, wicked cool run for the Guinness record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Those I'm of you excited. who don't know... Uh, tentatively dated December 18th, Gordon and I are going to break the Guinness World Record for the longest live uninterrupted webcast. Uh, the current record is 52 measly hours. Me and Gord are going to do a 12,000. Now we're going to do 60. We're going to do 60 hours <laughs> of this show all in a row, uninterrupted. We've got some great guests lined up from other podcasts, some former guests of the show, maybe even some music. It's going to be a big, big deal. We're raising money for Gord's charity, uh, which, Gord, I forget what we're raising money for. Why don't you? Uh, for the uh, Milton Hospital. Milton Hospital. I don't know how I forgot that. I should be able to. I should write that down. <laughs> uh, raising money for the Milton Hospital, and then we are also raising money here in Kelowna for a uh, Find Your Stride, I believe, is the one we're going with. And it is a charity that helps women who are down on their luck, reintegrate into the workforce. Um, they get you all, they give you clothes, they give you interview skills, they do up your resume for you. They, they do everything they can possible to, to get women back working. That's very cool. Um, I think it's a cool charity. Um, and it's not just like, Oh, it's not like a job bank or something gay. They, they figure out what you want to do and they, they train you and dress you and prepare you for success. So we are going to be raising money for them. 
and uh, having some pre-Christmas fun. Very cool. My work is already decked out and selling Christmas crap. We're in full Christmas mode. Good God. Really? Yeah. You know what? I, I say it jokingly, but it's really not. Uh, they don't exist. Holidays, it's just like this big gap from Labor Day to Valentine's Day, and it's called the holidays. And it's all just become one, like, briefly interrupted by Black Friday and fucking Cyber Monday and goddamn yeah. Boxing Boxing Month. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that's just, yeah, we already know that that's just, just getting extended and extended and extended. Well, yeah, it's now Black Friday week, Boxing Month. <laughs> what the fuck? Just It's just so out of control. Why don't you just make your shit cheap all year round and then people could just shop every day? Why do it like this and torture everybody? I don't, I don't know. Because that would make too much sense. They it bugs that. me. I was going to have a Today in History ready for us, but due to circumstances beyond my control, I do not. But I do actually, believe it or not, have some news stories that I wanted to bring up. Oh? So... I have one that I'm dying to talk about. Why don't we start with yours? Because it sounds probably more exciting. Well, we love NASA so much on this show. Just their Such math program. Well, NASA, for the last um, couple of weeks, has been talking about this uh, particular um, um, asteroid that they, the way they sort of figured it out when they were following the director is that they actually thought that it would uh, actually stick with our, like with the Earth, it would actually go around the planet and use the gravitational pull and then shoot off again. I remember hearing about this, or you and I talked about it or something. You told me about it. Something like that. That's right. Yes. Well, they've ID'd it, and it's a piece of an old rocket from a spaceship. Oh, God, of course it is. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, really, guys? (laughs) Really? uh... How how did they find the ID it? Oh, they got a picture of it. <laughs> Couldn't you have done that, like, years ago? Well, see, that's the thing I don't understand. You can get pictures of fucking faraway planets and solar systems and shit that's, like, billions and billions of light years away. But yet, in the next coming few, like, I can't remember how long it when the thing was supposed to happen, but just to give an idea... The um, it's 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 uh, it's an old rocket from a failed moon landing mission fifty four years ago <laughs> that's finally making its way back home. <laughs> it takes it takes three days to get to the moon, but it takes fifty four years to get back. Yep, that's rough. It made it out to a certain point, caught a gravitational pull, and got and then flipped back. Weird. <laughs> uh, way to go! I I would like to think it's because we cut their funding, but maybe it's taken fifty years to get back to the moon because those fucking boneheads just actually can't. <laughs> they don't know how. The first time was a fluke, and they've just been <laughs> lying for fifty years. Maybe this that's why they've time. never gone back. I don't <laughs> doubt that we went to the moon. I don't believe the conspiracy theories. In fact, I think they're pretty stupid. But there's a chance we just fucking fluked and we can't do it again. <laughs> oh, that's what oh, I'm thinking. Man. Besides, after saying... talking, to, after our most recent con- conversation with Roger Nygaard, I've lost all hope in space travel anyway. Well, yeah, well, that, 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 that's going to happen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. Um, the... Um... What the, the what caught this the attention? I said when they first thought that it was an actual. What caught their attention? Thinking, oh, wait, but something's off with this. Was the fact that it has a near circular orbit around the sun, very similar to Earth. Which like, well, wait a minute, no asteroid fucking goes around that. And then so that was the first flag. <laughs> and then you. Know,